Warning, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and very scary trains and jump scares. If you suffer from epilepsy or are faint-hearted, play this game with extreme caution or not at all. The actions in this game are only possible in a virtual world. Please do not try to recreate them. Thanks for taking your time to read and click anywhere to continue. Okay, Smudger, thank you for the introduction. Smudger had attacked the Midsodor manager in revenge for getting turned into a generator decades ago and Cut instantly scene. regretted his actions. I went back to Bertram Station to repair the engines that were caught in the landslide until I realized that we had a bigger monster on our hands. Oh god. A red engine by the name of Stanley, Smudger's rival back in the Midsodor railway has come back for revenge for being turned into a pumping engine for causing a load wow. of accidents. He seems to have similar supernatural powers to Smudger. He has possessed all the engines Smudger once had control of and That's has also kidnapped talking. Duke. I knew things could not end like this. I knew Smudger and Duke could make amends and Smudger could be redeemed. But to do this, we had to save all the engines. I had to get Smudger back. I caught him trying to kill himself because he was in so much pain. But I managed to talk him out of it. After that, I signed up to be a night guard at a railway called Gerald's Hometown, which is near Stanley's hideout. Doing this, I can keep the engines at bay while me and Smudger can save them one by one when the time is right. I know we can do this, although it's going to be very difficult. We have only one chance to put things right again. That's right. We only have one chance. Okay. What is going on, you guys? It's Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights of Smudgers Engines at War, where this is the fourth game made by Big Trevi himself. And, um, trying to think what else to say. He, for those who don't know, he is the creator of the Five Nights of Smudgers series. Um, he's an awesome YouTuber. Go subscribe to him. I'm one of his subscribers, and he's a subscriber to me. So go subscribe to his channel because he's awesome. And I would like to give a huge shout out to Big Trevi for making this game possible. It really means a lot. And um, this is the long-awaited game everybody has been waiting to play for, including myself. And I'll explain why this game took a long time to make. Because originally, Big Trevi canceled this game because um, there was this final level in the original game he was trying to make. And he never got to, like... He just couldn't figure out how to do it. Like, there was just so many problems with it. And then that's, that sent him into a depression and canceled the game. But the good news is he regained his motivation. And he has remade Fight at the Smartest 4. And from what I know, this game is going to be a different gameplay than the original. From what I know, it's a similar story, though, which I will not go into it. Because you can figure it out yourself. And, um... Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Indiana Dust and the others who also helped make this game possible. Really means a lot to me because when this game originally got canceled, I went through a depression too, and nothing could cheer me up. And for those who subs who are subscribed to my channel, um, you may remember I made a video called "A Sad Ending to Find Smarter Series." That was to voice my opinion and how sad I was, and just for just because it was canceled, but. Now for this video, you can you can see me, you can hear me voicing my opinion on my and my feedback on how awesome this, it is that this game has came out. Finally, the long-awaited game. I am so excited to play it. <laughs> I can't even think of anything else to say other than then I'd like to give a huge shout out to Big Trevi. God bless you, as he always says. God bless you for making this game possible. But anyways, enough of me talk, giving a speech. Let's go to get, get started on the scam, without further ado. Okay. The Island of Soto. We have a knight, mission, and a boss. Alright. So without further ado, let's take on our first shift. If it'll even let me. Yeah. Alright. Well, it makes a gunshot sound every time you press. That's really nice. Welcome speedsters. First shift. Cutscene. Oh, it's Proteus. Oh, it's Bertram. They're possessed. As, um, Big Trevi said, or Tim, as the character you're playing this game. 
Same with Smodger. Oh, we got a phone call. Railway owner. Hello? Hello, sir. Are you there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'm here. What's up? A lot. Got a ton of stuff to do for this railway. How are you? You settling in well? Oh, we got a camera. Oh, I'm alright. It's a bit alert. That's it. How so? Well, you know, weird stuff happens on these kind of cops. Of course it does. Oh, let's look behind me, nice. That's a shame. They plan to build something around here that, to fix that for you, so you'll be listening to the tunes all night and all sorts of news and conversations. Nice, can't wait. So let's move on to what you have at your new place, shall we? For starters, this is your office to do whatever you want, of course, that's not illegal or whatnot. Then of course. Right there. And of course, the window to look out the back. So for right now, that's pretty much it. There's something on your left we haven't installed yet, but I'll tell you about that when it's done at a later time. Okay, sure. Alright, so the railway owner's talking to me. Now you look after yourself, got to do some more work, and we'll probably be away. I'll try to look after myself. I'll speak with you later. Good enough. Oh, wait, one, one more thing. Uh, the kids that visit here tend to leave their toys around the area, so keep a close eye out for them. I will. If you find any, just collect it for lost property in case they come back. Alright, that's it. Good night. Alright, mate. See you soon. So there is nothing to defend myself with. Wow. Good job I bought this thing. Well, you have the doors to defend yourself, don't you, Tim? Okay, control the fire. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take a listen to the radio and we'll check out the cameras. And I'll explain more details after the radio is done playing. Okay. Alright. So now on to night one. Alright. I don't know why you I don't know why you think I don't know why Tim thinks he doesn't have a door to something to defend himself, but he does. So yeah, so Big Trevi is voice acting Tim and Smarter in this game because this game it has voice actors in it. Alright, so let's start let's let's we will play this long awaited game without further ado that I've been waiting so long to play. I am just so happy that this game is so this uh, game is out. <laughs> God, I'm I'm just immensely happy. Okay, so Oh, I found a toy. This item is yours, okay? I got to look out for toys too because um the kids tend to leave them around. As he says. Oh God, it's Proteus, and he's got a snowplow on him. Okay, you're looking creep. Well, Big Trevi did say Stanley possessed all the innocent engines, so they're gonna look creepy in this game. <laughs> and basically, I have to fire the air sentry thing when someone tries to get in my office. Ah! It's a troublesome truck! Okay, whoever's voice acting Proteus, the voice is intimidating. Oh, there's Bertram. Oh, God. Okay, I gotta fire the sentry thing, because Proteus is about to come in. There you go. You are blocked off, Proteus. You cannot enter my office. Okay, so... Ah! Bertram! Okay, I gotta fire this... Mash R to recharge. Okay, uh... Okay, as I was about to say before I got startled, um... Those coaches are the narrow cage coaches from the TV series, which they had... They were featured in Season 4. They were in Season 5, too, but they didn't have faces. They only have them in Season 4. And then that's... Ah! The safe cars from 
uh, slave cars from the narrow gauge railway. God, these things are startling me. These things are like hallucinations, pretty much. Okay. I better focus on the cameras, and I heard a rooster making a sound. Okay. I feel like Proteus is the one talking, or it's Bertram. I don't know which one is a voice actor, but it is. But their voice is intimidating. Try to see if there's any more toys. Okay, well, as far as I know, I found one toy, which was a train. Okay. Okay, gotta fire this thing. Bam! You are blocked off, Proteus. Alright, congratulations, you are safe for now. <laughs> good music good music to completing night one. That's a great thing. Alright, we have beaten night one. Alright, let's see what's next. And then there's items, extras, and tutorials. Okay, so next we got is a... Uh, okay, we have a mission which is called Wanted Lori, so that'll be the first mission we take on. Let's do it. Okay, here's the plot. Tim has tracked down his first target, Lori One, which has been possessed by Stanley. He must unpossess him by chasing him down and giving him a bomb. Controls. Drive the truck with the WASD keys, which are right on my computer. And then use your mouse to aim with the target and left click to shoot. Press the space bar to reload. Okay, so I gotta get ready to shoot these things. Alright. Oh God! Oh God! We have a we have a police car chasing after me. Oh, it's Sarge GT. Oh God! I gotta reload. Guy shooting at me. Crap! Guys, things are hard to avoid. I'm gonna die. Damn it, I died. Oh, I was so close. I was so close to killing him. Oh god. Game over. But don't worry, Smudger used his powers to protect your body and keep you alive. So get up and avenge yourself. Oh, thank you, Smudger. I appreciate that. Alright, so Smudger's gonna become a good guy in this game, I guess, and not as and not evil like he was in the first three games. Which I'm not going to go too much on them because I don't want to spoil it for those who haven't played it. Alright, let's try this mission again because I just died on this one. And we also have a boss, which is Sarge DT. So he's basically the first boss we face. Alright, so I'm driving a truck, which is actually my protector. Okay. And of course, most of the characters are going to have voice actors in this game, as I said earlier. Not if I try to shoot you! There we go, took him down! Alright, now we gotta, now we gotta, now we gotta bump into the lorry. Okay, we have one bar of health left, but we still took him down. There we go. We bumped into the lorry. Hallelujah. Okay, what's next? Mission complete. Sorry, Sarge GT, but you, you cannot stop Tim. Alright, so let's do this. Let's see what else is next. And then there's tips, and then hover your mouse for achievement. We'll see what's next. Okay, so... Okay, we did the first shift. Okay, our next level is... Um, difficulty Spike, which we will take on that in the next video. 
Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit that like button. Also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all of your support, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.